My name's Georgia Oakley. I'm the writer and director of Blue Jean. That was the project I applied to Breakthrough with. Blue Jean is set in the 1980s and it tells the story of a lesbian PE teacher named Jean who is struggling to lead a double life um, against the backdrop of Thatcher's Clause 28. How is that girl ever going to learn that she has a place in this world? Laurie, she thinks she has a place in this world. You're the one with the problem. Not me. This isn't a game, Lois. It's me life. I'd spent a lot of time researching the film before we made it and had developed close relationships with lesbian PE teachers who had lived that experience. They were with us when we were filming and they were with us when we eventually screened the film. And for me, that added this whole extra dimension. At every turn, people would say, this isn't going to be possible. You're not going to be able to do that in that amount of shoot days. You're not going to be able to get that many locations, that many extras. The list just went on and on and on. It became very much a part of just the fabric of what we were doing to be coming up against these impossibilities. It was just about having an incredible team and everybody was so passionate about the story that we managed to overcome as many of those difficulties as we could. I feel as a director, my only tool is my instinct. When I'm talking about someone's performance or whether I think the lighting's right or whatever it is that I need to do, it's all just about my gut reaction to what I'm seeing. And so you have to be able to tune all these voices out and, and there are so many of them. I do remember all of us feeling like something special was happening. There was an alchemy of sorts. Then I went into the edit and I completely lost perspective on all of that and it's just you and really one other person and you're just chipping away, chipping away every day and you have no idea what other people are gonna think of it. It feels very, very surreal to be selected for Breakthrough. It's something that I've followed over the years. To have the chance to be a part of that is, is huge. As an artist, you're stuck in a dark room, pouring your soul into something that you really have no idea if anyone's gonna respond to. And so for me, it definitely is important for someone to just come along and put their hand on your shoulder and say, hey, keep doing what you're doing. And that's what this feels like. There was a really defining moment where I was selected for a program also run by BAFTA and BFI Flair. I felt like I was brought into a, a cohort of filmmakers much like this. Being able to talk to other directors at a similar level, that was really important to me. BAFTA has appeared so many times through my career. I actually had my first ever short film screening in this building. So to have been nominated this year for Outstanding Debut was, yeah, I mean, I had got as far as thinking about the film playing at festivals, but I, I never thought that we would be uh, at the BAFTAs.